Welcome back to the channel, YouTube. My name is Justin. I represent Maryland's number one RV dealership, Beckley's RVs. And today, we're gonna to take you on a tour of the 2022 Tab S Boondock Edition, manufactured by New Kit. So the Tab 320 is one of the oldest teardrop manufacturers within the industry. They're setting the trend for tiny camping. They're super popular for three different reasons. The first reason, quality and craftsmanship. They only build right around 2,000 teardrop trailers in one year, which means they have a bunch of attention to detail. The second reason is because of how lightweight they are. This thing is practically towable by almost any small to mid-size SUV. And then the last reason, you have every single amenity and feature that you would in a 30 foot long travel trailer and something that's just right around 15 feet in overall length. We're super excited to get started with this tour. Make sure you stay tuned. So getting started with the tour, the first thing we're gonna discuss is the specs of the trailer. And for all the further detailed specs, you wanna make sure that you check down below in the description and we'll be sure to link their website. First thing that we want to point out is the dry weight. Dry weight on this trailer is 2,077 pounds. It's got a GVWR of 2,900 pounds. And as mentioned before, it's about 15 foot 3 inches overall from tongue to bumper. So starting on the tongue of the trailer, the first thing that you're going to see is a full size 15 inch spare tire. Now what you don't see, or maybe you can a little bit from that camera angle, is you've got a little storage box that's back behind this uh, full size spare tire. So what the storage box houses is your 20 pound propane bottle and then also your battery of choice. There's even a battery disconnect that's inside of there as well when it comes time for you to put your trailer away in storage. Now some of you might have noticed that you've got these grab assist handles that are here. A lot of people ask me, well, what are these handles for? Well, believe it or not, because of how lightweight this trailer is, you can actually physically push the trailer around using these handles. Now, it's a little tough to do it on your own, so if you happen to have a partner or a friend, it might make that job just a little bit easier. And then some of you might have even noticed that you've got a solar panel that's up top on the roof. So that solar panel is connected directly to your 12 volt battery that's up front here, and that's gonna help trickle charge that 12 volt battery. So if you're off grid, you know, camping someplace where you need a little bit more battery life, that's gonna help charge those up and be able to extend that stack. So now that we're on the campsite, first thing I want to point out is the fact that you've got a lagoon bracket. What a lagoon bracket is, is there's a table that's on the inside of your trailer, and that table is attached to a lagoon bracket. So you can take the table out from inside, and you can set it up right here. So the idea is that you can set up you know, your stovetop or cooktop and plug in any of those outside appliances right here to these outlets. Now the sun's out, it's get a little warm out here. I'm gonna take this thing off. One second here. All right, you still rolling, Jackson? Yeah. All right, my man's. Okay, so uh, pick it up from where we had left off as soon as this big tractor trailer goes by. All right, go ahead. So you got some dual pane acrylic windows. These things are gonna be quieter when you're inside of the campground. They're also gonna help condensate a little bit less. And then lastly, they're gonna be a little bit warmer inside because they're a bit of a better insulator. Uh, now down below, you've got those cool off-road, kind of rugged looking tires. But what you don't see is the pitched axles that this new camp offers. So what a pitched axle is, is just think of it almost like a lift kit for a, a vehicle. So the idea is that it's gonna lift up the entire trailer to provide you some better ground clearance. That way you can take this practically to any off-road terrain that you could imagine. Now you've got this cool little fancy step to climb up in and out of the trailer since they do give it a little bit uh, extra height with those axles. And then you've even got a grab assist handle to be able to help you climb up and on the inside. All right, so we're on the back side of this new camp and I can tell you the rear end of this thing is beautiful. <laughs> so we're on the back of the new camp you can see you've got an aluminum exterior cage. I generally have no idea what this thing is for, but I can imagine maybe uh, you could come back from a, a swim at the lake and maybe hang up your swim trunks or your bathing suits, or maybe you could even use it as a rack. I don't know. Leave me, uh, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you guys think this thing is for. I'm sure there's a purpose. Uh, but down below, kind of hard to see, but you've got a quick connect for a propane gas grill. So the idea is that quick connect is uh, attached all the way up top to that 20 pound propane bottle. So you could bring a portable gas grill, hook that up right outside and be able to enjoy all the nature amenities that you'd like. So one of the reasons as to why a new camp is so expensive is because of their quality and craftsmanship. But the biggest thing is how they construct the overall exterior of the trailer. So on the back here, you're gonna see you've got a full aluminum skinned roof. Now, why this is important, why this is unique is because water damage within the industry is the biggest problem. 
The teardrop style trailers, not only do they look cool, but they also are a little bit trendy, but it's a major fact that they actually have less seams on the outside of the trailer. So less seams means less areas for water to be able to intrude. So that's a big thing, and you have to understand that when you're investing into a trailer like this for five, 10, 15 years going down the road. Uh, now outside here, down below, you've got an outside shower. So if you're coming back from that sandy day at the beach, or uh, maybe you got the dogs with you and you wanna spray them off before you get back inside, gives you a little bit of flexibility. And then inside here, you've got the Nautilus system. So this is something that they had added maybe a year to two years ago. And uh, what it offers is all of your water connections in one area. Typically, this is on the exterior of the coach and exposed to all the outside elements. This is nice because you can feed all your water hoses up and through the bottom, close this door off, and everything is properly protected. They even give you a little lock handle here uh, you know, in the event that uh, you don't want to get some stuff stolen. And then right here, you've got your electrical hookup you know, for shore power. Down below, you've got a gray tank drain outlet. I'm gonna talk more about the black tank here in one second, but just note that. When we talk about the black tank, there's none. There's not a black tank on this. Instead, they're using a cassette potty. So what is a cassette potty? Well, instead of that black tank or the bathroom draining over there to that drain outlet in the back, instead, they've got this little removable tank that's here. It's actually locked inside, so we're gonna have to go inside, unlock it, and we'll come back outside here and we'll show it to you. Go! Oh. <laughs> All right, we got it. <laughs> so, voila! It's finally here, we got it. This is your cassette potty. Uh, if you wanna learn more about this stuff, I'm sure there's a ton of YouTube videos online, but uh, if you guys happen to buy something from me, I'll make sure you get some dumb gloves, you know, with your purchase. So, we're on the inside of the trailer, as you could probably already see. Back behind me here, I want to point out all the storage that you have on the inside of this. Now what I'm sitting at is your U-shaped dinette. So this is a comfortable space for you to be able to hang out, play some cards, eat some food. Remember that lagoon bracket and the table I was talking about earlier? Well, this is the tabletop, and that tabletop will attach to a bracket that's right here. So the idea is that you've got this table here, and it'll be able to swing practically anywhere on the inside of the trailer. So, just gives you a little bit of flexibility. Now, let's talk about if you want to go to bed tonight, all right? It doesn't look like you're probably gonna be able to sleep very well inside of here. Well, this entire U-shaped dinette actually folds down into a bed. You could sleep up to two people, or if you had a small child with you, maybe up to three people. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna show you how that works in just one second. So I just folded down these two back cushions behind me here. What that did is that exposed some additional storage, but it also gave us a little bit extra length here for me, able to, uh, for me to be able to lay down. Now, there's these two seat cushions that are right here. These will actually fold down in, in the middle, and then there's like bed slats that comes with this that folds across to fill up that gap. That way you can have one full-size bed inside of here. Now, I'm about five foot nine. I'm gonna go ahead and lay down and show you how comfortable or whether or not I even fit inside of this. So I'm about five foot nine, and as you can see, I've got plenty of space. I probably wouldn't recommend sleeping this way. <laughs> I would probably sleep with my head the other way, just because for obvious reasons, you know? So let's let's spin around this way and let's try that out. All right. Yeah, that's that's more on the money. All right, Jackson, I'll, I'll be back in like 20 minutes, <laughs> man. Give me some time. Okay, so up behind me here, you've got a Bluetooth radio. It's got AM, it's got FM. I mentioned Bluetooth. It's got USB, and it's even got an auxiliary port and an HDMI forgot about that. Nevertheless, over here, microwave, good size. Hopefully I don't need to talk more on that. Directly to the right, you've got a 12 volt TV. I said that right, 12 volt, which means you can be off the grid, not plugged into shore power, not having a generator run, and you can still operate your TV. Uh, and then up and above that, that's where you're going to be uh, able to access uh, not only your furnace, but your water heater, but then lastly, also your air conditioner. Now, up top on the roof, um, you're going to, or in the ceiling, I should say, you've got a 12 volt, uh, you know, fantastic fan. So, what that means to you is that it's a two way ventilation fan. It either sucks air out or it brings air in. So, the idea is you could open up all these windows on the inside of the trailer, get a great cross breeze going, or if you're like me, I like to eat. So, I'm going to definitely cook inside of here. If you want to get rid of a lot of those odors, you can also do that with this nice and powerful fan above my head. So I'm gonna go ahead and address the elephant in the room. You can see my head's touching, and I'm also bending my knees right around three to four inches or so. I'm five foot nine, I've got boots on, so I'm gonna probably tell you I'm really six foot, 
but uh, if I'm five foot nine, I'm definitely gonna hit my head on the inside of this, which means what's back behind this door is also gonna be a little bit tight. So I'm gonna have to do all my business by sitting. And you'll see what I mean. Well, uh, so you've got your bathroom and it's a wet bath, which means you have a shower and a toilet all in combo. So I'm gonna get inside of here, show you what I look like. Ouch, <laughs> you can kind of see, not bad. I'm gonna sit down here. Ooh kind of bent on me a little bit. So I'm inside of here. Um, it's a decent size. You know what I mean? I could take care of all my business here. Got the toilet paper with a little plastic covering right out of the way because that's important. Got my overhead shower head and I've even got a mirror inside of here to make sure my hair looks good. So inside of the teardrop, as mentioned, you've got every single amenity possible. So we're going to start off with the sink slash galley area. So you've got your sink right here with running hot water. And in the top left corner, you're going to see there's a hole that's uh, accessible to the cabinet so it's right underneath the sink because there's an outlet that's underneath it here. So you can see back inside of there, you've got an outlet along with USB charging ports and even a 12 volt outlet there as well. Uh, comment down below what you would end up plugging in underneath you here and using on the inside of this trailer. Now over here to the right, you're gonna see that you've got a two burner cooktop with a splash guard. I love the splash. <laughs> so you've got a two burner cooktop with a splash guard in the back. And if you're like me, I make a mess every single time I cook. So that's almost a non-negotiable. And then down below here, you've got a little 12 volt refrigerator with an ice box or ice tray inside. Now, the thing I love most about this entire area, not only do you have storage, but you've also got this window that's right here that opens up. So that way you don't really feel like you're caved in or in a box and you can see naturally what's going on in the campground. All right, YouTube, we hope you enjoyed our quick tour of the 2022 Tab S Boondock Edition. We had a blast sharing it with you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Be sure to comment because we want to hear your feedback. And we look forward to hanging out with you on the next one. <laughs> Woo!